you're welcome to the channel and thank you for subscribing if you haven't subscribed please go ahead and subscribe and also hit on the notification bell it's really really very important thank you um good afternoon sir please good afternoon. on the attack today in the magistrate court please yes. what would you say about the attack today sir the attack is heinous the attack is barbaric the the attack was led by the APC state chairman named called the dollar it's unfortunate that this happened today. Um, I give God the glory that I have been resuscitated. His hoodlums, miscreant and charlatans, he led to the court to, uh, to attack myself and Santodino Melai. It's quite unfortunate. This is not democracy. I kept on saying, if you know you won election to the ballot, you have no reason to fight. When the opposition is challenging your victory at the court, you understand? Okay. Excuse me, sir. When the when the the opposition is challenging your victory at the court, you have no reason to fight. Judiciary is uh, the hope of the common man, the same. But I don't think what is happening in the country today is acceptable by the citizens of this country. It's quite unfortunate. It's quite unfortunate. I was almost killed. More than 15 people took on me. I was beaten. I was being battered with iron, heavy sticks, whipping me up there and there. Likewise, Senator Dino. Dino you know, was beaten to the ground. But we thank God that we were both alive today. And of course, struggle continued. Because the tougher the battle, the greater the victory. Freedom come by struggle. We will not capitulate, nor control. We cannot be intimidated by the will of this attack. We will continue to fight on. It's a fight to finish by the special grace of God. And there must be light at the end of the tunnel. We can assure the people of this country, the people of Kogis. Your Excellency, after this thing, what can you tell your followers? Well, I will continue. I will uh, urge the party supporters, party faithful and followers, especially supporters, fans of Engineer Musa Wada, not to give up on this struggle. Because it is glaring, it is crystal clear, it is sure that the people, though I wouldn't want to comment on the case in court. It will be subject to uh, uh, contempt of court. But no. I'm very, very optimistic that the whole world knew what is going on. And that is why we are at the court, to seek justice, to seek redress of the anomalies, the anomalies and the irregularities that took place in the November uh, 16th uh, election 2019. So I will encourage our supporters to continue to be strong, continue to be firm in their support and prayers for our candidate and, of course, for our party to reconquer the country from the hands of these uh, uh, criminals. I call them criminals, group of criminals yes, and hoodlums. You see, the, this is not the country we, we bargained for today. Look at the insecurity in the country. Nothing is working as far as this country is concerned. Is it, we are living in a failed state. Nigeria is a failed state. But the Lord who brought this affliction upon us who certainly took it from us. Thank you very much. I appreciate all of you. So that's the video, guys, of him narrating how they were attacked. Meanwhile, um, Dino Melaya himself, you know, went ahead to post this picture and he said the face of the chief thug who invaded the court yesterday with thugs to inflict bodily harm on PDP agents and lawyers yesterday. You know, then he posted this um, man's picture. Anyway, guys, I'd like to know what you guys think about the whole story of the attack in the courtroom and all of that in the comment section below and if you like to keep receiving updates for from us please go ahead and subscribe to the channel and also tap on the notification bell like and share the video and thank you so much for watching bye bye